What's up everybody? We are back with another Elite Throws technical analysis and this is Turner Washington. Uh, one of his big bombs and we're going to look deep into his technique and what he does really well here. This throw is a really great throw so let's check it out. Boom and I believe that is the NCAA record if I recall correctly. So <clears throat> let's look at what he does. He opens yeah, he's a very good discus thrower. His father's arguably one of the best American discus throwers of all time, if not the best. Opens that left really well here while he's still grounded. So if you take notice here, his left's really wide open. His right um, is getting a really nice position here. And as he comes wide around that that left, he's got that nice long right leg. That knee flexes here. He falls in a little bit with this left side. But what I really like is watching his right leg. Watch his right foot. And how it just sort of never changes that height. You can almost go right here. Okay, that's a terrible line. Let's go straight across. You can just see how his right foot just stays on that same line the whole way. And it's similar to what his upper body is doing with that left arm. <clears throat> right here so now that left leg that left foot stays directly in line with his left knee so he's holding here that left is rotating around Get that left knee gets pretty wide there going to the front and then as he grounds that left right here he catches super super deep where that right shoulder sitting back behind that right foot I think he does lose a little bit of plantar flexion in that right ankle here he opens he does because you can see here he ends up extending that right knee to come out of that but if we take note of shots in the hand he's still down on that left side right shoulders very far forward and now we can start to see he gets out after that big finish rotates back around and it's really neat just watching Watch that, watch that right side here. It just slides forward here, gets to a flat foot there, and he just wiggles that all the way around back in for that good strong save, 2170. So this is a really, I mean, best throw ever in the history of the NCAA, I believe, um, at least for indoor throws, and just a really, really good consistent movement. Comes around. You know, again, maybe he falls in a little bit with that left hip, that left knee early here, but he's so good with that right foot. The reason why I believe he, he is capable of doing that is because that right foot just goes right to the center. He's not raising that right knee all up over the place. He grounds, he's flexed over top of that quad and foot there. Left rotates down and he just stays on that big finish. So if you need help with your technique and with your throws-based training, head over to throwsuniversity.com. Until next time, guys, peace.